Hello viewers, I am Dr. Dickie Richard Marak. I am consultant in orthopedics, joint replacement and sports injuries in Narayana Super Specialty Hospital. I am in Gaon Guwahati. So today I am going to talk to you about ligament injuries. So you've all heard about the word ligament. So what is ligament? Ligament is a fibrous connective tissue. It is basically a soft tissue structure which connects one bone to the other. And ligaments are present in almost all joints of the body, be it the knee joint, the hip joint, the elbow joint, or the ankle joint, you have ligaments present in all joints. So with me, I have a model of a knee joint and you can see the knee joint is supported by soft tissue structures, especially ligaments. So on the outside part of the knee joint, you have a ligament here and this is called the lateral collateral ligament. On the inner part, you have a ligament here and which is shown in white. This is called the medial collateral ligament. Similarly, this, sort of, this type of ligaments are present in the shoulder joint as well as the elbow joint as well as the wrist joint and you have it in all the joints so ligament injuries are very common it is very common uh, among people playing sports so people playing football or tennis badminton volleyball they all are prone to having ligament injuries and also people going to the gym regularly they might be prone to suffer from ligament injuries apart from that people even doing household work may be also uh, prone to develop uh, ligament injuries if they sustain a fall or injury they might sustain a ligament injury so first and foremost when whenever a person suffers from a sprain sprain is actually a, a strained ligament a tear in the ligament is called a sprain so whenever a patient sustains a sprain, uh, one should always remember these four words. We remember it by the word RICE, R-I-C-E, RICE. So R stands for rest, always give rest to the affected part, always give rest to the affected joint. ICE, I stands for ice fermentation. All right, so whenever a part is acutely injured, People always have a wrong notion of giving hot fermentation. Never give hot fermentation to an acutely injured part. Always go for ice fermentation. C stands for compression. A compression can be given with the help of a crepe bandage and splinting the part so that the part does not move. And E stands for elevation. So whichever part is injured, always remember that you should raise the affected part so that the swelling subsides and then always always seek the help of a doctor so the common ligaments uh, that we always get to see in our day-to-day -day practice are like the ligaments of the ankle joint or the ligaments of the knee joint so within the knee joint there are two very important ligaments that we often see that football players develop injuries one is the anterior cruciate ligament which is present within the knee joint and the posterior cruciate ligament which is also present within the knee joint so these two ligaments are very uh, uh, commonly injured in football players as well as in tennis players and even uh, people uh, doing household work if they sustain a fall or an accident so uh, the first symptom that the patient usually suffers from is pain and uh, there might be swelling and with time when the pain and swelling goes down one would uh, see that there is instability a joint which does not have the support of ligaments is always going to be unstable so the patient would say that there is instability in the knee joint he's not able to run he has difficulty in climbing stairs or he has difficulty in walking on uneven ground. So whenever patient suffers from these sort of symptoms, one should always go to an orthopedic surgeon. So the commonest way of diagnosing a ligament injury is not the X-ray. We diagnose it with the help of an MRI. So once the MRI is done, once the ligament injury is confirmed, we go for different uh, modalities of treatment are available these days. But uh, the form of treatment which is gaining increasing popularity 
in the medical field is arthroscopy that is minimally invasive surgery so we uh, ha all know about laparoscopy which is just a keyhole surgery similarly you have arthroscopy in orthopedic practice we, we make just a hole in the knee, uh, knee joint or the shoulder joint or the affected joint and we insert a camera within the joint and we are able to inspect and we are able to see the whole of the uh, joint from the inside and once we know that there is an injury we treat the affected part by different modalities of treatment and all of this can be done by just a small hole in the joint so hardly there is any scar hardly there is any bleeding hardly there is any uh, uh, time taken for uh, recovery so the patient is sometimes able to recover within a span of a few days itself so uh, whenever a patient has all these symptoms or is suffering from one of these ligament injuries one should always help take the help of our orthopedic surgeon i hope viewers it helps you in understanding a little bit about the ligaments and um, with that i would like to close my talk thank you